Many just celebrated Easter last weekend. Some of you may be getting ready to celebrate Orthodox Easter this weekend. And that's what our regular friend, our friend and regular PTL contributor, <laughs> you know, Rainya Harris, is doing. And Rainya, what are you making for us today? I am going to do a roast bone-in leg of lamb over a gratin of potatoes, onions, and tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to serve this with roasted artichokes with some capers and orange zest and tomatoes and all sorts of good things. Sounds lovely. Yeah. So why is Easter this weekend? How fortuitous <laughs> that you should ask. <laughs> and I'll now put on my reading glasses. <laughs> okay, I had to look this up. Yeah. I'm Greek Orthodox, but I never can remember this. All right, you ready? Yes. This is interesting, folks, so pay attention. <laughs> um, Orthodox Easter should always be celebrated on the first Sunday after the first full moon, after the spring equinox, but always after For Passover. Passover. Now, that means Orthodox Easter, which is, it follows the Julian calendar, will always fall between April 4th and May the 8th. However, the Gregorian calendar, which is the Western Christianity's Easter, which was last week, always falls between March 22nd and April 25th. I see. It's so, the calendar. So my dad's side of the family celebrates Easter this upcoming weekend. That's right. So you're following the Julian calendar. Yes. So uh, it's, uh, it's interesting. Always, it's, it was always exciting as a child because I had two Easter egg hunts. Well, yeah, I got my uh, mom's side of the family, which is Presbyterian. Right. My dad's side of the family. Which... Well, it's always exciting for me because <laughs> I can get Easter candy half off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, so let's get to <laughs> Lamb is a big staple big, in our family. A big so leg of lamb bone in. Mm -hmm. And my recipe folks says to, to do a, an 8 to a 10 pounder. I was hard pressed to find anything other than a 10 pounder. And Less trust me, I look. That's <laughs> all they're selling these days. And my recipe says that you can roast it at 325, but actually this was so big that yesterday I did mine at 350. Okay, good And I do it about 20 minutes a pound, and the internal temperature I want is 145 degrees, but that's just me. Some people want it at 160, which is more well done. You just have to cook it longer. Okay. So what I did was I put a little bit of olive oil on the bottom of this very big roasting pan, and I peeled regular russet potatoes, Idaho's, yep. and I sliced them on a mandolin. You can do it in, a, in your food processor because you have that slicing blade. Right. And I laid them all down here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to season every component with salt and pepper individually. So the potatoes get their seasoning. So important to make sure there's enough salt on potatoes. Well, there's Nothing on this whole on this whole recipe actually. Okay. You'll see why shortly. Trust me. And here I have a little bit of garlic, and it's chopped pretty fine. And again, I'd like to scatter the garlic all over the potatoes, but not not. I'm keeping some of it back for a reason. And here I have a little bit of chopped fresh thyme, and that goes Yum. next. Then on top of the potatoes, same concept, onions. Sliced onions. Yeah, and again, you could do them on the mandolin or you could do them in the slicing blade of the food processor. Sessor, sure, sure, sure. And go ahead and just lay those on top. And once again, the Salt same, pepper. yep, I got to do this all over again. What a nice base, too, for the lamb. Well, wait till you see what happens. I can't wait. I'm very excited to, to tell you why we do this. It's like a gratin. This is an old recipe that I made 100 years ago, literally. And it's, it's based off of a Patricia Not Wells. Not really 100 well, years ago. Well, it seems like it. <laughs> I'm getting so old. But it's based off of a Patricia Wells recipe, and it's actually French. And it is oh. a French way of making this. I changed a few things, but not much. I pretty much it was a spot-on recipe. Now, Sliced tomatoes. Now you're going to just put the tomatoes down. Oh, nice. And, yeah, right on top. Now, the reason you do the tomatoes last is because all the juice of the tomato as this roast. It'll soak down into the potatoes. Right, will oh. soak down into the potatoes. That's absolutely right. I like when you tell me that. Isn't that, what, that you're right? You're right, Heather, you're right. Hey, it's your show, Heather. You're always right. Okay. Never, that never really happens. More salt and pepper. Oh, yeah. And this time, be very liberal with the salt on the 
okay. tomato only because the tomato itself, once again, the salt will bring out all the juices in the tomatoes. Yeah. I know my Aunt Terry is watching, my Uncle Robin. We used to always Aww. make lamb on the rod and. and uh, so uh, you did a rotisserie did, like. Yes. Oh. It was, it was all, uh, childhood memories for me. So. How, and is that how they'll do it this weekend? I don't think so. They mm. just, we usually grill it now. Oh, nice. And my Uncle Rob, let me tell you, if he's watching, he he's knows. A, he's a he good, is. He's good at He's it. He's good at it. Well, it's worth the hour drive to their house. Tell him I'm excited and he can invite me. Okay. White wine. All right. Goes all on top of this. Okay. Like that's a generous cup. It is. And olive oil. Oh, <laughs> would help if I undid the olive oil. <laughs> olive oil goes on top of this. Okay. And again, get get it hit it good. Make sure everything's covered. Yeah. Now. The lamb gets seasoned. Okay, boy, I'm making a mess, aren't I? That's okay. And this is your kitchen too. Well, it's, I'm making a real mess. And then you take it and you put the fat side up so okay. it'll drip down. And you put a rack on top of this. Okay, push it down. Uh huh. And you put this right on top. And actually, how are we doing on time? Because well, I think we have to get to the next uh, the okay. commercial break, but well, we can put this in the oven, right? We're gonna put. I'm gonna put this on. I'm seasoning both sides. I'll clean up, folks. Put this on the rack. Oh, right? the magic of TV, we're gonna have this done in a yeah. commercial break, yeah, right? Yeah, three hours. <laughs> come back in three hours and you'll see my lamp. Yes. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.